What's up guys? So we're back with another video. Today's on the Google Pixel XL. This is the Verizon version. We're going to unlock the bootloader using DE Pixel by BEPS. It's on the Root Ninja. In case you guys want to see the link, it'd be on there. You're going to download. Steps are, steps are pretty simple. You're going to push the binary to data local temp. You're going to change mod at 755. Then you're going to run it. You're going to wait for the phone to reboot to the bootloader. If it's not rebooting, you can try to run various apps until it does, or you may try to reboot and start over. And then you're going to issue fast boot OEM unlocked. All right. So let's get started. We're going to down. I've already downloaded it. Now we're going to run ADB push, and we're going to push it to daily lawful temp, as they as he says. Pushed. We're going to do ADB shell change mod. We're going to run it everything exactly the way they tell us to run. Very simple here. Boom, run. Welcome to dpixel8 by bups starting. Put about 20 more seconds. Phone seems to be doing something. Again, this works with the dirty cow, and it's back basically patching the trust zone so we can get it unlock. And there we go, it's rebooting. Hopefully, we're going to reboot into the bootloader. All right, well, we didn't get booted into the bootloader, but let's try ADB reboot bootloader. Boot loader. Let's try to reboot it. And they say to run fast boot OEM on lock. OEM unlock is not allowed. So obviously it didn't work the first time. All right, let's try to reboot the phone. Might have to be connected to a network. I'll try to connect it to my Wi-Fi. We'll give it a shot. I mean, I guess my phone could be somehow patched, but I doubt it. All right, we're gonna throw it on. We're gonna throw it on Wi-Fi. All right, she's on Wi-Fi now. Let's take it at. For some reason, it still says it's an airplane. All right, it's an airplane mode. Let's just bring up. Whoopsie. Let's try not to do a drop test here on video. All right, we're gonna run it. We're gonna run it again this time. With something open. He does mention. Oh. That time it rebooted right away. Alright. So maybe the trick is to have an app running. Or connected to the internet. I did both. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully we get the bootloader. Booting. Oh, we got a bootloader. Awesome. Now, they said to run fast boot OEM on lock. Boom. We're getting it. Here you go. Yes and no. Bring it up so you guys can see it. I'm going to pull the cable for now since we don't need it anymore. But, on lock bootloader. Now, press the volume up and down to select yes or no. Yes. And then press the power button. Yes. And unlocked. 
as simple as that. All right, now, what I'm going to do, I don't think I'm going to do a video on this, but I've downloaded the, the basic version for the regular Google Pixel, the non-Verizon version, and I'm going to flash that onto here. And then we're going to do another video for Root. So, all right, guys, if you like this video on the Verizon Google Pixel XL, unlocking the bootloader, uh, getting temp root in order to unlock it, drop me a thumbs up, you know, share it around, leave some comments. Let me know if you want to see some other videos on some other stuff. I have some cases coming in, some tempered glass. I got a bunch of stuff coming in for it. Let me know if I should keep it, you know, what the best, what the worst, what I should do. If you guys know anybody at Twitter, as usual, if you can help me out to get my, my Twitter name back, I'd be very grateful. All right, guys, as usual, see you in the next one. Don't forget to drop that thumbs up and share it around. Laters.